I can barely remember a hand reaching down and getting a hold of me and pulling me up and setting me on the back of a horse. The horse didn't have any saddle, didn't have a bridle, and it didn't have reins. I remember riding on that horse and just seeing the back of the person in front of me. I remember him calling the horse by name. The horse's name was Lady. It was a white horse and had brown spots over it. Rode from the house to the barn. I remember getting, getting down and going into the barn. There were bales of hay that were freshly cut and you could smell the the scent of the hay. It, it's a wonderful smell. They were stacks of hay and I climbed up, to the, up the stacks into the loft of the barn. And I looked and there was two bodies lying on the floor. They were asleep. It was my brother and his best friend, George. I walked over and I stood over the bodies and I noticed uh, on my brother's side there was a pile, a pile of change, car keys, a knife, and a can of chewing tobacco. I looked over at George and beside him, you know, they had emptied their pockets out, and beside George there was just a little pile of change. Later that evening, I was standing in, at the house looking out the window, and I was watching George walk home. And as he was walking home, there was a pickup truck pulled into the, his driveway. I remember looking at George's house. It wasn't very far, and it really wasn't much of a house. Pickup pulled into the driveway and a man got out and he started unloading coal. It didn't take long till I realized that, that that was my dad unloading the coal. Eventually he got into the truck and he pulled into our driveway and come in and we sat down at the table to eat. And I asked my dad, I, I said, what was you doing? And he said, I was unloading coal. I said, why? He said, because they're poor and they need help. And I said, <clears throat> are we poor? And he said, well, we're not wealthy. And he said this, he said, you know, sometimes it's good to help people even though you need help yourself. Sometimes it's good to help people even though you need help yourself. What my dad was doing, he was unloading coal for a family that needed that coal to heat their house and to cook with. We are to help people, even though we may need help ourselves. My dad was helping them with material things. But you know, sometimes we need to help people with spiritual things, even though we need help ourselves. You know, nobody knows everything about this Christian faith. It is a journey, and each and every day we, we learn more and more. You know, the number one question that has been asked me over the past 30 years has to do with baptism. Baptism always comes up. The best place to think about this is to think about the beginning, the beginning of Jesus' ministry. Jesus comes to John at the River Jordan. John's baptism was for forgiveness of sin. Yet Jesus comes to John and asks to be baptized. 
Now, why in the world would Jesus do that? Jesus was without sin, but yet he asked John to baptize him. I think maybe he does this to show us, to show us what we need to do. We need to be baptized. And also to say that John's ministry was right and the things he said were right. People come to me, and it's usually the people that haven't been baptized. And they talk about baptism. Is there a need for baptism? And it doesn't take long. I've heard this so many times. They bring up the thief on the cross. You know, Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. And he wasn't baptized. Well... We're not on a cross. We may be thieves, but we're not on the cross. There are opportunities for us to be baptized. And you know, after the ascension of Jesus, Peter preached the first sermon. He preached the first sermon. And he says, Peter says, repent and be baptized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is essential. Baptism is the first step on our Christian journey. I don't know everything about baptism. I have questions about baptism. But sometimes it's good to help people, even though we need help ourselves. After Jesus was baptized, the scripture tells us that he was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights. He was weak and temptation came to Jesus. He was tempted on faith, wealth, and power. He was tempted, yet he did not fall to temptation. Temptation is all around us. And we all have been tempted. And we all have fallen to temptation. Now, if we believe and trust in the good news of the gospel, if we believe and trust in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus, we are forgiven of our sin. The Bible says the Lord no longer remembers it. But yet we do. I don't know everything about temptation. But I know my share. We all have been temptation. But you know, sometimes it's good to help people in spiritual things. Even though we need help ourselves. Jesus comes to his hometown. His ministry is just beginning. He goes into the synagogue, his church, and they hand him a scroll and he unrolls it to the passage of Isaiah where it said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach and teach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives. And he rolls the scroll back up and he says this, he says, today, this has been fulfilled in front of you. And they look at each other. They say, what is he claiming? Is he claiming to be the Messiah? The chosen one? And they look at each other and they speak to each other. They say, well, there's Joseph, his dad. His brothers and sisters are here. How can he be this Messiah that is to come? And you know what they do? They run him out of the synagogue and are going to push him over a cliff. But that did not happen. You know, one thing that will be different, one thing that is different when you become a believer, when you follow Jesus, is your relationships. The people that knew Jesus the best rejected him. 
When you become a believer, it will have an effect on your relationships. Some people will not treat you like they used to. They will become distance, even in our own families. But he is always with you. And he has called each of us to help people, to help people with physical things and to help people with spiritual things. You know, sometimes it is good to help people even though we need help ourselves. Amen.